Last part to this, we'll get our motor. Yep, motor, and then we gonna mount this on it. Now, this hub, of course, has two sides, so this fits perfectly for motors that would have two flat surfaces on their hub, or shaft, I'm sorry. This one only has one, which is fine, it'll still work. Fall on there. Sometimes those yeah, get in the way. Fall on there. Alright, and you want these blades to be positioned right where the fan shroud's gonna be. It's gonna be kind of right here. You want the blade to be right in the middle of that fan shroud. I'll show you on the fan shrouds here in a minute. You can always look at the factory one and see about where, how far down the shaft it was, you know, so. Let's see. Right about there is kind of where I'm gonna, gonna want it to be. So, it doesn't have to be perfect. If you get it too far, then it will hit the, uh, it could hit the condenser coil. Or if you get it too far close to the motor, it could hit the motor. And so if it's not hitting something, then it could be affecting airflow. You want it to be just right so that airflow is perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect, but sometimes I've seen these things to where they've been so far off line. You know, not... You got it. This is it. Motor blade mounted, new motor and blade, with a new hub, it's ready to go up on the unit. Just want to make sure it's nice and tight. We actually do not need this set screw because it's not going to hold on to anything. And if we tighten it, it'll just scar the machined part of the shaft and make it very hard to remove. Alright, and then one last thing I want to do, because this motor comes from the factory like this, I'm going to go ahead and put a Romex connector seal, just to help keep moisture or anything out of there. To do that, I'm going to remove this, right there. There we go. I think you can see me. Better. I'm usually holding the camera with both hands, so it's really hard to get good footage, so. Alright. Put in your Romex connector. All right, so Romex connector goes on pretty simply. You gotta run the whole thing through the wire. First, though, you want this to be on the inside, so you gotta take this all out. Run that through there. Okay, that's through. And we're gonna get back through there. All right, now that's ready to receive the connector. And this will also help future help the wire from being pulled out of the out of the windings where they connect to it. Alright. Once that's in, you want to put that in. And be a little tricky sometimes. To get that to start to thread, but once you get it to thread, it's all there. And then I want this to be facing out this way so I can tighten it. 
adjust it if I need to. And then I'm gonna make sure I've got some good slack here and tighten these screws down so that it, uh, it squeezes and holds those wires. All right, something like that works for me. Yep, like so. All right, so back at the unit that uh, this fan goes on. So running with two fans, I had to clean the coil. And see the two fans right now at night, it's running receiver about 123. So let's put this fan motor on and see if that makes a difference. Now, you don't have to, I don't suppose. If you had to do this with it running, you could. It's just more convenient and safer to do it with it not running. See if I can find somewhere for you to sit. It right there maybe okay so got these right here this motor will go on I'd like to have the passenger facing where I can access it so go in kind of just like that That, that one didn't go in, but let's see. You get that one where it belongs. Okay. Fairly simple motor, just two wires, you see. So, in there, wire nut always make sure your wire nuts are nice and tight. Two wires go about the same length. Good amount of copper showing and tighten them up. And if it's outside like this one is, it's always all right. Good idea to put some tape on it. Never hurts. Sure you try to take up as much slack as you can to where the wires aren't just you know dangling down anywhere my opinion this little brown wire here there's really no point in it it's grounded through the chassis down to there so what whoever thought that it was real smart okay I believe we're ready this right here let's go on right there so let me do that real quick okay once everything is together got the little cover on I'm going to start it. Mm -hmm. There we go. Here in a second, we'll check that receiver. We got a clear side glass clearing up. All right, and now down here, it's only 
only been running for a minute or so, but 110. We'll let it run 111. We'll let it run a little more and check it again. Okay, been running for a little while now. So, let's see. That's a lot better. It was 122 a minute ago, or before we did that motor. With two motors. Now with three, it's one, 113. That's great. A lot better. Okay, so I've just got to put all this back together, and that's going to do it. Okay, it's all back together, and I'm finished here. So, got two motors, or three motors going now. New high pressure control down there, and it's all set. So, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Later.